Hey guys, so today I wanted to bring you a review of some different self-tanners that I have. Before we get started though, I just wanted to ask your opinion on this lighting. I heard once somewhere that you're not supposed to really mix natural light and artificial light, but in the camera that I'm looking at right now it looks okay, so hopefully when I upload this and play it back on my computer, it will look good. I know that it's the end of summer right now, but for some people looking tan all year round is something that they strive for, so hopefully I can help you in this video. I'm obviously not obsessed anymore, but I want to say about a year ago when I was still in high school I was obsessed with self-tanners. I bought and tried so many different kinds. Some that are my favorite, some that are my least favorite, some that are just okay, some that are cheap, some that are more expensive than others. So here I have a big Hollister bag filled, filled, literally filled, they're spilling out of self tanners. I'm gonna start off with my two favorites right now and they're a little bit more expensive than stuff that you would find at the drugstore but I guess you could expect that because you get what you pay for I think when um, you are looking for the perfect self tanner. So this one I'm sure you've all heard of before it's from a company called Saint Tropez. Saint Tropez? I don't know. But it looks like this it just says Saint Tropez self tan bronzing mousse. And this one is a whipped formula, if you can tell. You're supposed to shake it, and then it has this pump. And it also comes with a mitt. It was just like a cloth, almost like an oven mitt that you use to apply it. Um, I really recommend that. I know that they sell them other places, though, like I've seen it at Ulta. And it makes applying the self-tanner much easier. But this one has sort of an olive undertone, so it works really well with a lot of people's skin tone, especially mine. And the smell is very floral, and it's very strong. I don't... I don't really care for it, but if you apply it before bedtime, then you'll be fine. The only complaint I have about this one is that I used it on my face and it broke me out, so I have really sensitive skin though, so it might not be that big of an issue, but I really like this one. This is my next favorite. It's Sun Ultra Dark Self Tanning Micro Mist, and this one is just a spray self tanner that sprays. And this one definitely smells like cherry almond. It has a wonderful smell. When I spray it on my arms though, I go over with the mitt that came with the Saint Tropez as well. I go over it with my arms. What I really like doing is using these two together and using this for my face since this one breaks me out. And then I also use this for my hands and then just kind of brush over with the mitt. I don't really have a complaint on this one other than the fact that whenever you're spraying in the... You definitely have to do it in the shower because as you're spraying it'll like spray everything and it could be a mess. Now these three are definitely my least favorite self tanners. These are all from Bath & Body Works. They're the True Blue Spa kind. This one is just the lotion gel type of stuff that looks like that. Pure shit. This shade to order one from the True Blue Spa where it's like you're supposed to select the color that you want at the top. Obviously I have it set for the darkest shade because I want to be tan and I want to be tan now. And this one which is the from the True Blue Spa, it's like the solar power spray one. They all have the nastiest smell I've ever smelled in a self tanner. This one says that it was $15. I don't really know the price of the other ones, but they're like $30 to $40, I'm gonna say. This one is pretty good for touch-ups or just for bronzing your skin for one day. It's called L'Oreal Sublime Bronze One Day Tinted Gel, and it just comes out looking like poo again. Very dark, almost like caramel though. And you just rub it on and then it comes off with soap and water. So it's not a self tanner. It won't tan your skin for days upon days. It will just bronze your skin and then you can wash it off in the shower. I'm sure everybody has heard of this brand from the drugstore called Jurgens Natural Glow. This one is the lotion in revitalizing and medium skin, medium to tan skin tones. This one is the Jurgens Natural Glow Express, which is supposed to give you um, a really nice tan in three days, which it does. I really like this one, um, but it kind of turns me orange, so not cute. And then this one is the Jurgens Natural Glow Medium to Tan in the Foam. This one is my favorite of the Jurgens Natural Glow um, collection. The scent isn't that powerful, and I really like the foam. It applies way easier, and it's pretty much streak-free, so that's good. This is another spray. This is by the L'Oreal Sublime Bronze again, and it's the 360-degree applicator. Um, I won't really agree with that, because whenever you do spray it upside down, like, to get your back and stuff, it kind of, like, leaks and spurts out. I'd buy it if you're looking for something cheap. I really loved this one, and I'm looking to rebuy it. It's the um, Banana Boat Summer Color. These are both the same one. It just says um, Summer Color Self Tanning Mist Airbrush Color Fresh Citrus Fragrance Color Lasts Up to Seven Days, um, and it really does have the. It really does have a really nice citrus smell, and it gives really good color, and it 
last for a long time, so I definitely repurchased this. I really have mixed reviews on this one. This was the Sublime Bronze Luminous Bronzer Self Tanning Lotion Instant Action um, from L'Oreal again. I really like this one. It gives great color, but it's super shimmery. I don't know if you can see on the top there how shimmery it is where it comes out. Probably not, but... And it's really messy and drippy, and I don't know, but it gives really great color, so I kind of have a love-hate relationship with it. This is also by L'Oreal. It's the Sublime Bronze Tinted Self-Tanning Lotion Streak-Free in Medium Natural Tan. It says Instant Bronze, bronze Glow Won't Rub Off Quick Dry. Um, this one is really liquidy, as the other one was very runny, and this one is also glittery, but not as glittery. And the smell is kind of strong, but I like this one. Except when I went to school um, with this on, somebody said that my skin tone looked orange or yellow. I combine my products sometimes, so maybe that was it, but... The last self-tanner that I'm going to talk about today is a Sephora brand. It's called Sun uh, Body Self-Tanning Mist. Tinted Bronzing Mist? I don't know. Um, but it's from Sephora down there. I actually ordered this online, so I don't know if you can get it in stores, but it was around $12. This one also has a citrus scent, like the banana boat one that I showed you. It smells really good. It's all gone. I should definitely order it again because this one gave a really good color. It has that instant bronze glow, so you're instantly tan, which is amazing. And then when you when you put this on at night and then you wake up and shower and you're left with a really nice tan. Which is another thing that I would recommend with all these self-tanners is that you apply it at nighttime, wake up, and then wash off the tan before you go to school or work. That way you'll have the best color and you won't be left streaky or anything like that. So those are all the self-tanners that I reviewed today. Um, I have doubles of them. Like I have two of the Sun one, I have two of the Saint-Tropez, two of the Banana Bow, two of the Jurgens. so... I've definitely been through a lot of self-tanner, thank god I'm over that obsession. So good luck getting bronze and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!